Welcome to Excellence in Excel. I'm Nick Wong and in this video, it is part 3 of the video, we're going to focus on starting to calculate the formulas for the text. So let's start with design because I don't like the design, it's hard to read and it's small. So I will just select these all and I will make these all outputs. And once they're outputs, I will say font size 18. There we are. So now we're done with this. So let's start with the basics. First of all, how do we calculate this? And I will show you step by step how we're doing it. So step one, what we're going to do is we're going to get this earnings because I will take Lisa because Lisa is in the fifth bracket and the fifth bracket or at least bracket three up till six is the most complicated one. So we're going to do that first. We like the challenge. That's why you're going to become excellence in Excel. So let's start with that. All right, Lisa, we have the 6 million, but from the 6 million, basically the 32% is only in excess after the 2 million. So we need to deduct. So 6 minus 2, so I'll say 6 minus 2, we'll get 4 million. The 4 million eventually will become, so I will multiply it by 32%. So that will be the amount that we need to calculate. That, that's the tax amount of only the percentage. Now we need to add up the minimum tax, so that is this plus that. Enter, and you can see, and I'm going to make the design slightly more here matching. You can see this is exactly what it needs to be. 100 for 1,770,000. So let's do that as well. So for simplicity, I would just make this also 6 million. And then we just start step by step. You will see exactly we can follow along here. Step one, we're going to use the VLOOKUP. And the VLOOKUP is essential here for the percentage. So we have the percentage, um, but what we want to do is we want to clean up this. This should be 4 million. So basically, we need to get the 2 million deducted by this, but you cannot do it here like we have here hard-coded. So we need the VLOOKUP. So we need the VLOOKUP. Yes, sorry for the interruption. It was my alarm. Uh, we need the VLOOKUP for searching the right value that matches with the 6 million. So it must be bracket 5. Let's do that right away. So what we say here is VLOOKUP, and the VLOOKUP value is 6 million. That's the value we have. And then we say the table array is all of these, so that'll be fine. And then we can just do here F4, F4 to freeze it. And then what we'll do here is comma call index number. So basically it's the same like in the percentage how we did. And then this will be the index number one, right? So the six million is in this range here, one. And the range lookup will say true. And then we close that, enter. Now we see our value is two million pesos. And that's correct. So are we done? No, not yet. Next step is we need to deduct this value minus this. So what we'll do here is we'll say B11, yes, this is the value here, minus VLOOKUP. And enter. You can see now we have the right amount, and that is the 4 million pesos. All right. So we're almost done here because then now the final part is we need to connect that with the 32%. And this 32% is, of course, here. We already have this here. So what we say here is, first we do here the brackets. Yes. Reason why we're doing brackets is because this formula is required to be first. This should get the priority. Once it did this, so it will call you the 4 million first, at that very moment, we can multiply by the amount of percentage that we have here. Enter. Now we have the exact amount of 1280. Exactly here, 1280. Finally, we are going to add up the standard amount here. How to do that? Very simple. We're going to use another VLOOKUP. So now we can say plus, 
So we add up the VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP. Then we say the value. What is the value? 6 million, comma, table array. We select the entire table array, comma. What is the column? Yes, if you want to look for the column. So 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the column. Number 4, comma, range lookup. Yes, so we say true. And we enter. Now we get this amount is exactly the match as this amount. What I will do here is I will freeze this with the F4, F4, enter. Now we're done. Now, if I would drag this down, you should see here the exact same formula. This, of course, you can ignore because we have the formula already. And we have this here as well. So now we have the formula. And let's try. Let's change this to 750,000. We can see the formula is changing. 750,000 means it's in the bracket of 400 by this 25% plus 30,000. That is perfect. So this is how you can do it. And this was a quite nice challenge. It's a small challenge. However, it gets complicated because of all these dependencies of it. And especially there with the minimum tax gives you additional challenge as well. But you can see the VLOOKUP is phenomenal to use that. And the VLOOKUP is very intelligent. And if that's, that will be the challenge, and I will, you will, we will start to do that as well. Let's start to remove this percentage here. So I will do that in the next video. Next video, we're going to clean up more to give just only one value, and that is the total amount we need to pay. So if you like videos like this, learning about calculations, bookkeeping, and Excel, check out the link below. There you can find a Excel course that I made where you can get even more information of how to use Excel. Excellent.